Hello and welcome to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. I'm your host, Drac, and today we're going to be talking about this terrible image. Now, this image is super blown up. It was taken at a very low resolution from a camera phone from a source that wants to remain anonymous. And I wish to respect that. As somebody who spent a very long time on the internet being anonymous, I totally and completely understand that. So, uh, let's launch right into it. What is this? This is the Falcon Fire. Now, we just yesterday were talking about this which is, of course, the Alpha Hawk from the AccuStrike line. And this is our other leak from the Alpha or the AccuStrike line. And it tells us a little bit more about the series, or at least I think that it does. Now, obviously, this is a very, very early um, reference image here. The image is not web ready. Uh, a little late for that, though. And we, we have this. So this up here is a very blurry version of what I assume is going to be the AccuStrike logo. Again, you can kind of see the, uh, the black on the orange mirrors here. Um, this, and I think that that's going to say AccuStrike series now. Then we drop down, we've got a very similar styling again with the orange on the gray. We've got the same thing going on here, even some white trim. And I think that this is totally legit. Now, in addition to this source just being very, very reliable, I am relatively certain that this blaster is 100% real. Now, the MSRP for the Falcon Fire is going to be 15 United States dollars. I can also confirm that I was right on the money, and the Alpha Hawk will be selling for 30 United States dollars MSRP. So at half the price, you get a sidearm-sized AccuStrike blaster. Now, it's obviously a pistol. It's got a handle and a barrel system and what appears to be a breech that reminds me of the sharp fire where you would pull back here, insert a dart, and then fire. Now maybe, maybe this blaster's image has just been compressed and the blaster is in fact longer than it appears, but whereas the Alpha Hawk seems to be shooting full-length darts, this might be shorter darts. Now, that's just me speculating. I have no basis for the speculation whatsoever, but... Uh, compared to the length of the, or the width of the handle and the trigger and the slide and whatnot, I just, I feel like this might be shooting shorter darts, similar to the Steffens that we've been using in the NIC for a very long time. That would make this a highly compact sidearm and it would make it more accurate. Shorter length darts have proven to be far more reliable in terms of their accuracy and their distance in a lot of NIC type scenarios. Now, how are they gonna get any kind of power out of something this small to launch something that's Stefan linked? I have no idea. Again, this is a very rough image and this is the only one that I have that I can share with you guys right now, but this is going to be the Falcon Fire. It's going to cost 15 United States dollars, like I said, and it looks to have, I think this will be dart storage down here. I've had a couple of sources that I've bounced this off of speculate that it could be some sort of internal magazine, a la Star Wars blasters, a la Magnus, but I'm just not feeling that. For a pistol like this, I think that this is old school Nightfinder style dart storage down here where you pull it out and insert it into the breech or into the barrel. It could be barrel loaded and Maverick slide and return primed. It's just, it's too early to tell, but I wanted to let you guys know that there is a sidearm for this line. The AccuStrike line is 100% legit. It's totally coming out, and all we have right now is speculation. Do you think that Nerf is going to be working on a series of blasters designed for higher accuracy, perhaps longer range? If so, do you think that they're going to change up the darts? That's really like the focus in my mind. I can't imagine doing this series without changing up the standardized elite dart, and at the same time, I can't imagine changing up the standardized elite dart after making it the standard in dart blasting, but what a riot that would be if Hasbro chooses to continue market dominance by changing the script yet again in a year where all their competitors have finally moved to the industry standard of 50 caliber standard length darts. If they change it again, they're just going to ruin all of those those marketing strategies for competing companies, and Hasbro has been pretty ruthless in the past. So I could totally see them doing that. I'm excited just thinking about it. I can't wait to meet the Falcon Fire in person. I'll be certain to give you guys a full review of the blaster when I can get my hands on it. And I'll tell you more about it when I get better images down the line from my official contacts over at Hasbro themselves. But 
this is just leak one for today. I know, I know, it's crazy, but I actually want you guys to stay tuned, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly, highly recommend that. It would mean a lot to me because I'm going to be leaking a brand new Elite Blaster and a brand new Zombie Strike Blaster that have never been seen before, also tonight, in the coming few hours. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been an episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. And I'll see you guys in a couple of hours with something special and spicy to share. Drek out.